Hey everybody, welcome into GoBlueRaiders.tv. Chip Walters with you on The Drill. We're not in the Ascend studio today, but we are in the Kenneship office suite here with Coach Rick Ensel as we talk Lady Raider basketball. And Coach, I thought I was going to have to put you on a purity milk carton because you've been on the road running around and I've been busy, so it's good to catch up again. Well, this, this is an important time for the program. I mean, we've got uh, all of our coaches are out recruiting and uh, of course, Coach Berkey's not with us now. We've moved Mariska into the position where she can get out and recruit. And so, you know, we, we're trying to get a lot of, a lot of territory covered yeah, in this and, month. And I think maybe one of the biggest myths in college athletics is, I'm sure you get the comment, oh, school's out, you're gonna enjoy your summer? Yeah. It, I'm not sure you have a busier time than you, than you do in the summer. Well, we're, we're pretty busy in the summer. And the fact that we've got camps going on the whole month of June, and then the whole month of July, we're recruiting. And then you get back into August, you've got your meetings that you've got to attend before you, school starts. And then you're bringing your players in. And so it's, you know, we really don't have any downtime. Yeah. Well, what we're here today to do is to unveil the 2012-2013 women's basketball schedule. And uh, it uh, it's all going to be kicked off or tipped off, I should say, with a bang with another trip to the WNIT? Well, you know, that's one of the, as far as women's basketball is concerned, it's one of the, the best tournaments to be in early. I mean, you could go to one of the tournaments in the islands or you could go to one of the tournaments in Mexico. But, uh, you know, right now, this this is the place to be. And, you know, we got a great tournament. They've got some great teams. We got a good situation. The fact that we open up, you know, we get two games at home right off the bat. and. Uh, you know, we open up against Kennesaw State, and they've got about four kids that are returning. They're, they were pretty good. And then uh, we win that, uh, and Memphis wins theirs, and we're probably going to play the University of Memphis right here. And, uh, you know, that's kind of going to be a big game because they've kind of dodged us in the last three or four years, or maybe they didn't have a place on the schedule for us. But uh, anyway, they're going to have to play if we win and they win somewhere. And then we got a chance, you know, to go in and maybe play one of the Big Ten schools, Iowa, that looks like they could – it could be them or Tom Hodges won, Moorhead mm -hmm. State or Illinois State come out. And, and if we were to take care of that game, then we'd be in the finals. And we'd probably have to play either Delaware or North Carolina. And with a chance to play here at Murphy Center. So, uh, because of our fan support and because of the administrative support that we've got, uh, we've got a chance to have maybe at least – three or four games here at Murphy Center. So there's a possibility that if the fans do their part, you guys do your part, you could play f for the whole thing at home. Right here. I mean, they're looking they're looking to, to play in facilities that's going to bring people out. We're one of those people. We've got one of those programs. So, uh, you know, if our fans come out, you know, we got a chance to host all those games. The Kennesaw game is on November 9th. There will be two exhibition games prior to that. Uh, UAH uh, will come up from Huntsville and also, uh, I guess that's Lincoln Memorial that will be coming in. Uh, then you get into uh, the rest of the non-conference schedule, which will include three road games after the NIT. You go to Tennessee Tech, then you jump into conference play at Louisiana Lafayette. And then, boy, I'll tell you, this is not going to be an easy stretch. You go to Knoxville, and then you go to South Dakota State. And, and I, I still say South Dakota State may be the best-kept secret in women's basketball. You know, South Dakota State may be, may be tougher than the Lady Vols, to be honest with you. To, They'll in, be faster. To play in their, their facility. And it's not as, you know, it's, it's not as big as ours, but they pack it. I mean, they pack it. And they're, they're very rowdy and uh, – they get after you uh, on the sidelines there, and said so you you nearly have to go out in the floor in the huddles to coach because they're they're just so loud and get after you so much. But uh, you know that's what that's what we're all about, Chip. I mean the program, we we're going to play the toughest competition that we can play. You go into you know what you go into when you go into Tennessee and play the Lady Balls. Even with Pat gone, Holly there, that's not going to be a whole lot of change. They're going to get after you. But I was going to say you're not. Your friend is not going to be on that other bench. No, no, it's 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 going to be a little different. Uh, I'd say she'll be at the game, but it's going to be a little different. And then you know we've got uh, we've got a game with Kentucky. Uh, yeah, getting a, you got Xavier at home, uh, along with Austin P, who's been very good in the OVC lately. And then uh, that first week of December, like we said, you've got at South Dakota State on the first, the fourth at home against Austin P. The sixth against Xavier. That's become a good series. And then you go to Kentucky, and that has been. 
very hotly contested. Well, you know, Matt, <laughs> Matt and Matthew have been mad at me all summer. And, you know, well, I, no question about that. I hope that, that Matt and Matthew are mad at me again next summer, to be honest with you. But, uh, you know, I, the thing about our team is we're not intimidated to play those type games. And we're not intimidated to go in and play the Kentuckys or the Lady Vols or the Jack Rabbits and, you know, and uh, – you know, I think that's going to play in our favor early in that WNIT because we know what we're going to have to do early on because we're going to have to play some good competition and be ready early on. Yeah, and then you you get into the meat of that Sun Belt schedule after that, and when you look and you see, you know, conference games on the twentieth, twenty seventh, thirtieth, when you play that the the changed schedule this year in the Sun Belt, uh, I mean, it's you talk about a true run to a championship. This is it. Well, one of the games that you maybe missed was Central Florida. Correct. Yeah. At home, December the 28th, we play them, you know, and uh, they've got a great program. So our fans are going to get a chance to see them again. But then once, like you said, you get into our conference, we've got some good teams. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm telling you, some about conference basketball and the women's side is is is, tough, is just as tough, I guess, as, they, as it is on the men's side because – you got the South Alabamas. You got the. You still got Florida International this year. You've got uh, Little Rock. Arkansas State's going to be pretty good. We've still got North Texas this year with a new coach, and they got everybody back. You got Western with a new coach, and then you got Troy that's that's got a new coach, and uh, she's come on board and kind of issued a, a, a statement that you know she's going to take care of Middle Tennessee, and you know we'll see, but. Uh, I like it like that. I like everybody shooting for us. Yeah, I mean, you've, uh, as long as I've known you, you've always, you know, uh, relished that role uh, with your high school teams and also here at Middle Tennessee. And and, uh, and I'm sure you've, I, I, I've seen you a lot of smiles when you talk about this team because your returning players have been, uh, have worked very, very hard. And now you have your, your new folks. Most of them are in town by now. Well, we've got, um, you know, we got everybody back. We lost Molly, and, uh, you know, Molly gave us great leadership. But then, you know, you look at what we brought in, uh, JJ, which, you know, she's going to give us a little size, and that's I think that's going to help Stephanie. I think we've already reported on that. Uh, Kaya Williams is coming in from Mount Juliet. I think she's got a chance to be – pretty good in this league I'm telling you she's got uh, she's a, so complete oh uh, she's got a great set of hands she finishes um, then you've got um, you got uh, McKenzie sales which is back and McKenzie just uh, you know from what I understand they played in summer league this this summer and she's just been knocking down one shot right after the other um, you know and we've got some other kids that I thought at the end of the year came on I thought Lauren March came on mm -hmm. and did a good job and I also thought that Janae Brinkley did a good job so you know and Lake and Leonard is, is going to be a junior this year so you know we've got some we've got some it's going to be very competitive and we got a chance to maybe to move ice out to that three and uh, and so if we do then that's going to really be competitive as far as the the perimeter of players are concerned does so, she still have does she still have any idea how good she could be no absolutely not i think <laughs> she could uh, i think she may be the best athlete in this league could be a wnba prospect mm -hmm. and uh, you know i think you know the time that she spends in the gym and working on her weaknesses is what's going to help make her a better basketball player and uh, will help make us a lot better basketball team. What has you the most excited about this group? Well, I, I love coaching this group. And, and what I like about them more than anything, they don't get caught up in the little things. They just go out and play. They like each other. They go out and eat with each other. And they come to my house instead of, you know, separating into four or five different groups. They just pile in together like a bunch of little puppies, you know, and they – eat everything in my house but uh you know they just they like our coaching staff and our coaching staff likes them and so you know more than anything they're just a good group to to coach you've been pleased with their off-season work this year well you know i really hadn't been able to to observe anything really uh, uh, chip we'll get into that when we get back you know when we get back after this break and we're about two weeks away from the break now um at that point i'll see you know, the first week I'll be able to see what's what is what is taking place this summer. But just looking at our kids, you know, I think Courtney looks a little bigger, and I think that Ice looks a little bigger, and uh, and what I mean by that, stronger. Mm -hmm. You know, so a lot of that can can add to the maturity part of it too. 
Well, I tell you, the, uh, the, the schedule is now out, so uh, it, it's time for fans to get excited about that, circle some dates on the calendar, but most of all, when tickets go on sale here very soon, make sure that you take care of your season ticket needs and one triple eight yes mtsu online at gobluerators.com uh, we had an incredible athletic year last year our fans were a huge part of that we need them to keep doing it we're going to uh we're going to have a great year this year and i'm not talking about women's basketball i'm talking about all of our sports and uh you know it's exciting right now to be a blue raider it certainly is, and that's going to wrap it up for us today. We're glad you could join us, and I'll get your two words here in just a second, but want to tell you that we're in the Kenneth Ship office suite here on GoBlueRaiders.tv, and go blue. There it is. See you later.